Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. You might be wondering who Brad78 is right behind me and uh I'm about to tell you. This creator ID is actually a YouTuber that goes by the name of Infinite Bits and Infinite Bits released a really interesting YouTube video. In this video he talks about how he took the Super Mario movie and turned it into a super world within Mario Maker 2. I am super excited to check out this super world as I have not had a chance to talk to you guys about my thoughts on the Mario Maker movie and I figured this would be a good chance to do that while playing some levels based on the movie. So huge shout out to Infinite Bits, a link to his channel as well as the video will be in the description below, but let's go ahead and fire this video up. Now obviously before we jump into the levels, I need to put a very big disclaimer that major spoilers will be discussed and I'm sure shown in these levels. So I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there if you haven't seen the Mario movie, if you're planning on watching the Mario movie, maybe come back and watch this after you've done so. But if you've watched it or maybe you don't care, let's go ahead and start this up. There are nine levels to play in this super world. So here we go, we're going to a house. Looks like a ghost house, which remembering the movie, I'm, I'm curious how how this fits in but let's go ahead and start it up here we have first level is called running in new york okay okay so if you've seen the mario movie you know how things start doesn't start in the mushroom kingdom <laughs> there is the mario brothers van from the movie off to a really good start as you can see we've got houses well i guess they're not really houses more like apartments or whatever so we're running here this is very, ah, uh, I like the cranes, uh, not the cranes, but the, uh, you know, scaffolding. This is really neat. Really well done so far. And I know we're just getting started, but, um, really liking how Infinite Bits has, you know, oh, there we go. There's a crane transitioned the movie into the game. And that's something that's actually blown my mind. I'm actually shocked Nintendo did not, you know, release a Mario game or announce a new Mario game or something, much like they did with the wizard, you know, in, oh, there's nice, a one-up, little bonus area. Uh, much like they did in the wizard, the 1991 or 92 movie, whatever it was, uh, where you know, the cross promotion with Mario 3. It just kind of surprised me that we, we have not gotten any word. Oh. <laughs> and just like the DGR skills, we're gonna finish at the bottom of the flagpole. But yeah, I'm just shocked. Like we haven't heard anything of a new Mario game. It's been a very, very long time aside from Bowser's uh, Fury. We haven't really heard anything about a new Mario game. So far though, this is true to the movie. We've beaten level one. Uh, we are gonna meander our way down to level two. I'm curious if this will be our first uh, jump into the Mushroom Kingdom. Let's let's find out. What's level two? Yeah! Yes, we are now in the Mushroom Kingdom. Again, if you've watched the movie, so far it's following uh, exactly how you know the Mushroom Kingdom goes. So, or how the movie plot goes. So we're going down the pipe. What is this now? What is, I'm trying to... Oh, was this the sewers? Oh, what... Okay, you can't go in this blue pipe. Is this like the sewers of New York? Oh, 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 oh. Hold up, let's restart. Let's restart. So right now, we're currently still in Brooklyn. I was confused for a second because I was like, uh... Is this supposed to be the Mushroom Kingdom? But this is, we're still technically in Brooklyn right now. So we go down the pipe, yes. We're transitioning into getting into the Mushroom Kingdom. So yeah, very, very cool how this is working. So, <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, so good. And then the one green pipe hanging down at the very bottom. So we go in the green pipe. And now, my friends, we are in the Mushroom Kingdom. Toad, where are you? We're adorable! All right, we got a mushroom. I, <laughs> Mario took that mushroom pretty easily. If you've watched the movie, you know, you know, some, that's, <laughs> Mario doesn't really like mushrooms. Oh, we got some Goombas. Very nice, very aesthetically nice. I like the, all the mushroom platforms. This is, uh, again, I, I I can't commend Infinite Bits enough for for doing what I thought Nintendo would do. He has taken it upon himself 
to do, which I appreciate. It's also got that classic Nintendo platforming feel. Nothing crazy, no Kaizo blocks, no trolls, anything like that. Just straight up fun level platforming. Just really, really well done so far. Like, I know that's only level two. I know I can't stop gushing, but I'm really impressed so far. We don't really need any extra lives right now, so I'm, I'm gonna avoid the mushroom houses. Let's go into level three. I'm just really curious how this is going to progress. My guess is gonna be the training course? No, okay, Toad Town first. And then I'm guessing level four is gonna be Princess Peach's training ground, we'll see. Uh, all right, let's go into, I'm assuming this is the castle. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is Toad Town. I'm assuming it's gonna end near the castle. The thing about the Toad Town in the movie, it was, uh, that was, the Toad Town was really, really cool in the movie. All the subtle knots, all the different things, all the toads. And I really like how they incorporated all the different, like, Mario, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna say, the blocks. Okay, we can't go down the pipe. But it was also very vertically structured. That's what caught my attention while I watched. Uh, it wasn't very uh, horizontally developed. It was it was a very tall uh, city, I guess we'll say. I guess we'll call it. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, really cool as well. I, I don't think we can go in any of the pipes. Just a, there for aesthetics. Can't go in the red pipe. Ooh, but that is spewing coins. Very nice, very, very nice. Bum -ba -dum -bum, bum -ba -dum -bum -ba. Oh, what's in here? Let's check what's in here. More coins. Hidden vine! Hello! <laughs> like that little secret area there, very nice. Oops. Okay, checkpoint, we'll take that. Perfect. <laughs> Brilliant. So there's a scene in the movie where they uh, keep going in and out of pipes trying to find the right way. <laughs> this is fantastic. So which one, which way is the right way to go? I'm as confused as Mario was in the movie. I don't know how to get out of here. And I don't know if I'm in the sub world or overworld, or uh, uh, main world. I don't know where I'm at right now. I don't think I've tried this red pipe. Ah, wah, ha, ha. Okay, we're back at the checkpoint. Let's take this nice and easy. We're gonna check each and every pipe till it brings us to the right area. You would think that my years of playing troll levels would help me understand which way I need to go. Let me tell you something. It ain't helping. One eternity later. Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and here's Princess Peach's castle. All right, we, we are following the script perfectly. We got a key. Aha, we're going in the castle, baby. Let's check what was over here. Nice little arrow indicator. Very, very nice. We can go in the castle. I like how there's a little moat there, just like, oh, very nicely designed. Really appreciate the uh, small details put into this. And there we go. We have now made it to the castle. And uh, if my calculations are correct from remembering my time watching the Mario movie, Princess Peach meeting should be next, as well as maybe taking on her training course. Oh, and I love that it's taking us up to a castle. Just like, it's, we'll pretend this is Princess Peach's castle. That's fantastic. And it is Peach's training, just like we thought. Mario's gotta become Super Mario. Oh, it's a 30 second speed run. I don't know why I was going for the... I don't know why I was going for the checkpoint there. So this was one of my favorite parts of the movie was the training. Woo! Didn't trust the coins there. I absolutely loved like the training montage and watching Mario become, you know, 
the Mario we know and love. The whole movie as a whole was fantastic. Uh, they did so many great... Oh, there's the end of the level. Okay. Okay, easy. We got this. There we go. We did it. Training complete. We are now Super Mario. We're ready to go on an adventure to save our brother, Luigi. And with that, World 1 is complete. And it's going to bring us more to the um, climax of the Mario movie. So we're, we've been trained. Now we're going after. We're trying to save our brother. So let's see what's next. Travel to the jungle. Okay. I, I know I said uh, the training was one of my favorite parts. But my favorite part of the movie, of the Mario movie. And I would love to hear, if you've seen the Mario movie, what was your favorite part of the Mario movie? For me, my favorite part of the Mario movie, and I didn't expect to love it as much as I did was uh, Mario versus Donkey Kong when they uh, battled it out. I don't. I was laughing my head off when I saw that in the movies. My kids were laughing. My wife was laughing. Everybody was laughing. Oh, there's the cheap, cheap bridge. Hey, yay, 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 yay. You know, in the movie, Mario takes a big kiss from a cheap, cheap. Oh. Ah, get it out, get it out. Uh, we are not going to do that. We got some Yoshis. Very, very nice. Sadly, we can't take Yoshi with us, but Yoshi does make a small appearance in the movie. Not super long. A lot. Of, I know that was a lot of people's major complaints is there was not enough Yoshi. But let's be real. If Yoshi was in the movie more, Mario would probably leave Yoshi to die in a lava pit or something <laughs> to give himself extra height on his jump. So maybe it was better if Yoshi wasn't in the movie, if you know what I mean. Ooh, Checkpoint City. Lots of fire flowers. This is the fire flower field. So we, I don't think we've actually made it to the um, Donkey Kong area yet. I can't remember the name of the Donkey Kong area. But this is the tree. Oh, it's a giant tree. This looks fantastic. Ay, ay, ay. It's so good. Oh, man. It was so cool in the movie when Princess Peach grabs the fire flower. Princess Peach as a whole in the movie was fantastic. Like, it was so cool to see her not just be the damsel in distress that, you know, we're so used to in the majority of the Mario movie or Mario games where it's Princess Peach has been captured, yada, yada, yada. You got to go save her. No, it was really cool to see her take such a strong, strong role in the movie. And uh, I, make, I actually, as I'm sure everybody is, Curious to find more, find out more about her backstory. I know I am. This is really cool section of the game, or section of. It's a really cool level. How we're climbing. We are climbing here. Here we go. Down the pipe. It's end of the level. Beautiful, beautiful. This uh, I I'm like thoroughly enjoying myself, and it's this uh, Super World's making me want to go back and watch the Mario movie again. Which I may do. Okay, fight against DK. Yeah, this right here was my favorite part of the movie, man. Like the the Mario versus Donkey Kong. <laughs> Let's see how this translates to Mario Maker 2. All right, there's a power up. Nice. I don't think we're actually going to be ob obviously able to battle DK, but I am curious how. Okay. Oh, we're climbing just like the Donkey Kong part. Yeah, this is great. We got the key. <laughs> I love it. This is much like the Donkey Kong arcade. We got the key. Let's go in the key door. Again, from a creative standpoint, this is just really, really well done. Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. I like how you put it. Uh, the mushroom was there. Checkpoint. Ah, oh, yes. Here's the battle. There's the there's the crowd watching us. And he... Ah. <laughs> you know, that's pretty true to the movie. But he doesn't give up, friends. That's the thing. 
He does not. Mario does not give up, and there's power up scattered about. I love that. Let's see what if, if there's a there's. A, was there a nut suit? No, there wasn't. There was a cat suit though, in the movie. Let's see if there's a. Oh wait, there, I'm sorry. There's no cat suit in uh, New Super Mario Brothers U. So the nut suit I think was like supposed to be like the cat suit. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Took, in the took a little creative liberty making Boom Boom DK, but what else could you do in this game? Now, if my brain is serving me correctly, the castle should be maybe Rainbow Road? I'm remembering. My brain isn't mush after all. Although it's pretty close. Yes! We get a car! Fantastic. That was really cool seeing the cars being made as well. I thought that was really neat. And then seeing Toad ride up on that on that giant uh, monster truck. <laughs> Fantastic, loved it. It was very Mario Kart-esque. So many cool, cool nods. All right, we're going in the pipe. We're in the clouds, if you noticed. Very great. The pipes, different colored pipes represents Rainbow Road. Oh yeah. Just exceptionally well done. Okay, where are we going now? Oh, oh, I needed to jump there. Saw a lot of, a lot of other people died there too. I don't feel so bad. This time I'll remember to jump. Hey, there we go. Oh, there's the Koopa, Koopa army. Oh, I'm changing rides just like in the movie. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe we ditch our. Maybe. We, oh, or do we go down here? Wait a second. What was up here? Was there anything hidden up here? Oh, this is where we fall into the water with DK. Really good. Really, really good. Everything is pretty dang spot on. And that is World 2 in the books. We're getting blasted off. We're nearing the end because I think that was a seventh level. Yeah, there's only two levels left. Nine levels in the super world. We're almost done. So we, as you can see, we're in Bowser's area. So I'm curious how this whole thing wraps up. We I was going to say, is this the wedding? Yes, it is. Wedding Crashers. Here we go. We are climbing. We are climbing, baby. Oh my gosh, was not expecting the Bonsai Bill. Although I probably should have since I did watch the movie. Oh, this is neat. I like how the, the Bonsai Bills are gonna follow us through the whole, whole level. Unless I got far enough that they despawned. In theory, they should follow us through the whole level, like in the movie. Oh no, they're still coming. Oh heck, they still coming. <laughs> Fantastic design. Now in the movie, obviously it was one bonsai bill, but this is a great way of basically, woo, making it as close to the movie as uh, as possible. Oh, we got the star. Oh, how did I jump over the end pole there? What? How did I jump over the flag? <laughs> oh my gosh. Keep in mind, we got the star. I think that's going to be important to the very last level. And if you've seen the movie, you also know why the star was very important. So let's go into the very last level of the super world which is Bowser in New York. This is how I figured it would end. Again, if you haven't seen the Mario movie, sorry, spoilers at this point in the video. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what to expect. But basically Bowser ends up in Brooklyn and there is a really cool battle between uh, Mario and Bowser. Things look pretty dang grim, but you know, 
When Mario's involved, there's always a chance for victory. Oh, gosh. Bowser is raining fire. Oh, nice. We'll take that power up. Am I supposed to go down the pipe? Nope. Back in, oh, I jumped right into the fireball, but we're back in Brooklyn. Oh my gosh. Looks like there was more than one Bowser. But this is a really cool idea for, a, oh my gosh, I better not die here. Really, 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 really cool. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even see that Goomba. Well done, Bowser. All right, I think we're a little further than we were the first time we died. Still have the nut suit. Woo. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going, we're going. That little Koopa down there still doing some work. Okay, we're down a pipe. Woo! Checkpoint, you know what? Oh, I can't even get the checkpoint. Oh, star! Oh, this is very satisfying. We're running back through the level, and Bowser has been bopped. Bowser has been bopped, setting up for our sequel. I'm sure Mario Maker, or the Mario Movie 2 will be coming out very soon, as Mario, the Mario Movie is set to pass, what, $1 billion here? It may already have passed $1 billion at this point. No, that was really, really awesome. Just a, a huge shout out to Infinite Bits. Uh, check out his YouTube channel as well as the video where he describes, you know, the creative process and what he put into the levels to try to make it as accurate to the Mario movie as possible. Also, if you haven't seen the Mario movie, yeah, there are some spoilers, but there is still so much good stuff. Even if you know how the movie ends, it's worth watching, especially if you're a Mario fan. I'm looking forward to watching it again. I'm looking forward to the next major Mario game that Nintendo releases, whenever that may be. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Be sure to go check out Infinite Bits over on his channel. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.